Since first launching the product in 2021, siblings Stephanie and Michael Bruce had sold 16,000 of their Moonbird sleep devices at the time of our interview. And they're assembled here in the loft space of their headquarters in Antwerp, Belgium. Michael showed me inside the facility. This is where uh, everything uh, comes together, where we go from the injection molding parts to the final product, the Moonbird. Uh, this is also where we do quality control, where we do R&D for new products, we test the electronics, we design new electronics. And as you can see here, from the plastics and the base materials, we assemble them. For example, here we add the motor. And we go over here to the final product, the Moonbird. We do some quality control at the end to make sure that every uh, Moonbird that is shipped to clients meets the required standards. But basically, A to Z, this is where everything comes together. Uh, all the subcomponents, and we end up with the final product, the Moonbird. How long does it take to put a moonbird together? In the beginning, when we started, it took 35 minutes per device. And by now, we're down to five minutes, under five minutes per device. That's a significant change. What was the, the big uh, turning point? Well, we invested heavily in the optimization of our industrialization process. Um, so, for example, the injection molding system has been redesigned to make the assembly as efficient as possible. Electronics, same story. We redesigned our electronics to be as efficient as possible in assembling our devices. How much cheaper is it to take control of the production facilities and have them right here in Belgium versus outsourcing? We're over uh, 15 uh, USD uh, improvements in terms of production costs by insourcing everything uh, on top of the agility and the flexibility that we uh, create, on top of the higher quality uh, control and process that we have. It's a right significant now. saving, isn't it? It is more than significant. It is one of the, the, the biggest contributors to our healthy gross margin uh, that we currently have. Now you have people, you have real people here putting the devices together. Why not automate some of the processes? Well, we do automate some of the processes. Uh, for example, all the electronic testing and electronic producing uh, is uh, automized. Uh, but some of the steps, the manipulations that we need to do are very uh, subtle and very precise. And therefore, for our current volume, it's uh, more optimal to uh, have people uh, doing them versus uh, investing in large robots or cobots that uh, take it over and, and, and do it for us. You want to grow the business. What happens to this facility? Can you just expand here so, to move, move somewhere else? So we do have, an, um, I would call it a satellite production facility, um, a partnership that we have with a larger um, production facility where uh, to meet, for example, um, seasonality effects, where we see seasonalities in, chain, uh, in sales, uh, we do have a fully uh, comparable setup at their uh, spaces uh, where we have spare capacity. Um, but in here, uh, we also have the capacity to do times four of our current sales with the current setup. So both here and the satellite production facility would cover all our needs for future growth in terms of production. So you've sold 16,000 devices. Where do you intend to go with the business model from here? How many more devices can you sell? Our ambition for this year is to quadruple our sales of last year. Um, and we want to go along that route uh, the, the, the years coming as well. Um, but we also want to add other products and services to our portfolio so we can offer much more to our cust current customers. Can I probe them? What's next for the product portfolio? <laughs> so um, adding more products to the portfolio, um, 